Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I'm going to talk today about a couple scriptures. One's Old Testament and one's New Testament. But I kind of want to intertwine them and just kind of just talk about kind of the state of affairs of this country and the world right now. So anyhow, let me dive right into it. I'm just going to kind of quote them. Um, first one is 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then will I heal their land. And the next one is John 3.16. talks about, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son so that we could, be, that we could inherit eternal life. And if you read 18, which everybody reads 3.16 and just jumps on that, if you read 18, there's a warning. It says that, 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 it says that we're not condemned at 3.16 and 17 because Jesus didn't come to condemn people. He came to save them and set them free. But 18 is a warning to those that don't believe. So I'm not preaching a fear message. I'm not trying to get everybody all riled up on that because I know a lot of religious people and churches and some denominations, some non-denominational, kind of beat people to death and think that God's carrying a big stick. It's a grace dispensation that we're living in. I'm a, you can look at some of my other videos. Look at the one about economic collapse in the U.S. in the USA. It talks about just stuff that's going on that's it, that's it that's current events and shows about how we live in a grace dispensation but anyhow these two scriptures are intertwined because God was talking to the children of Israel in Chronicles but he's also talking to his people today it's time for us to humble ourselves which is kind of hard as Americans to humble ourselves we just kind of a proud nation and there's nothing wrong with being proud of our nation but pride comes before a fall so we can carry that too far so it's time to turn to Jesus because God that was God's answer to salvation of mankind. I mean, go to the Old Testament and look how, how easy it was to get a hold of God. It wasn't. You know, very, very few people. Moses, mighty man of God, had a hard time getting a hold of God. It just wasn't easy. That's why Jesus had to come. That's why we're in a grace dispensation. We're in a time like never before. Jesus wants to reach reach as many souls as possible so that we can become sons of and sons of God. There's a one in there about God's image of you, one of my videos. You know how once you're born again and you accepted Jesus in your heart, how God sees you, he sees himself because he said, let us create man in our image. He sees Jesus because you've accepted him into your heart so you become a son or a daughter of G of, of God. And he sees the Holy Spirit. You know, so all three of those. So you, I can send you a copy of that. There's, I've got over 20 scriptures to go along with that. How God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are all one, and how they all live in you, and we abide. If we abide in Jesus, it's just it's. There's other people preaching that same revelation, but it is a revelation. So anyhow, you can get a copy of my. I wrote a book. I had a lot of visions. The Lord kept giving me visions. I didn't really want to have them. I told him to stop and quit, pick somebody else. But he kept giving them to me and giving them to me. He inspired me to write a book, so I did. Called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. You can get a free copy by emailing Steve Youngstrom at yahoo.com. I'd be glad to send you a copy. There's also several of my videos on there that, that are that read some of the, read some of the visions that I've had. I'm not weird, I'm not some crazy person. It is in Joel two sixteen. The old men will dream dreams and the young men will see visions. So it is scriptural. Um just kind of wanted to semi talk about current events, but if you look at some of my some of my videos, especially the one about economic collapse, it'll tell you how current current the events are. This country's already bankrupt and collapsed. Just hadn't caught up with everybody they're talking about being a trillion dollars in debt in 10 years or whatever you know it's like Wall Street's kind of a joke and I've got an investment account I don't want to see it fall but this country is headed for a fall if it's not for the if it wasn't for the grace of God we probably already would have been a third world country at best so anyhow that's kind of current events but that's not really my message but it correlates with it that we have to turn we have to put Jesus first look at Look at the vision on election vision, the one about the election vision after the election. It talks about Jesus being at the center. That's what we need to do. Turn, turn to God, turn to let Jesus enter into our hearts, and let Jesus and the Holy Spirit lead God and direct us to all truths, because that's what will happen. We're sons and daughters of God.
you know it's a pretty awesome time we live in so anyhow once again i'm steve with touch of the master's hand holy spirit ministries i hope you tune into my other youtube videos if you like them put a like on there if you really like them please share them with people on any kind of social media instagram facebook and whatever just share them i would really appreciate it i, I appreciate comments you can comment good or bad just put some comments on there so other people can see them i'll post them all so anyhow God bless you. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.